Hi again, YouTube. It's Raina. Um, so this is going to. I don't like the angle of this. I should have thought this out before I just went and decided to do it. Um, okay, maybe this is gonna go down here. So, um, this is going to be the first video in kind of my weight loss slash exercise motivation slash. I, I don't even know what I'm going to call it. Like, in this, I don't know if I'm going to give this a title, per se, but maybe I'll come up with something witty. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the first video, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys just kind of what, I guess, my stomach body looks like, because I'll explain just where, to me, where the weight bothers me. Um, I'll also just put everything else out there, and I just kind of want to show you guys, like, a quick of my fridge freezer kind of thing, like what kind of things I eat without going into too much detail, and I'm going to try to do it pretty quickly. So, <clears throat> starting out, I was always considered small my whole life. I was always short, like I was always shorter than everybody, and I was always really, really, really scrawny. So my whole life, I was like, like, I don't know, once you start getting to about a teenager, I was like 100 pounds forever. And then about... It was probably about three years ago when my depression, my anxiety really hit, and the brain tumor thing was all happening. I gained about 30 to 40 pounds. I was about, like, 110, and I was, like, 145, 150, like, I don't even know if I hit 150 for sure, but I know that I was, like, 148, 147, something like that. And I was, like, right up and around that, and I was, number one, I felt like crap, like, just trying to wake up in the morning, you just feel like shit. Putting on clothes, you feel like shit. Like, it's like, none of my clothing was fitting me either. I had to go buy, oh, my boobs went up two cup sizes. I was a C, and then I ended up being now I'm a double D. Um, and I'll explain kind of a little bit more about that. And so it's like all my sizes went from, like, zeros to twos to now I'm in, like, fives and sevens and... You know, I can't wear small anythings, and it's just, it has a huge effect on your self-esteem, and I already have issues with that, considering the depression, but my faults for weight loss and gaining weight is, number one, this thyroid, so my metabolism is kind of slowed down as compared to regular, I know, people that don't have it, not regular people, people that don't have it. Talk to myself, talk about myself like I'm not a regular person. Maybe I'm not, I don't know. But yeah, and then, um... What else? Um, I like to eat, like, when I'm really upset or something, like, food for me has always been a comfort thing, and I prefer savory foods over sweet. I'm not a huge sweets person. I am for certain things, like, I like pies and donuts, but for other things, like, I prefer savory over sweet, and massive portions, that was another thing, is I had no willpower over food. Like, if my mom made my favorite food, like, Hell, I'm going to eat, like, three stacked plates of that, and it's like I literally have a bottomless pit stomach, and I know that sounds crazy, but I never feel full. Still, I'm kind of working on it, and I'm starting to feel that feeling, but I don't normally feel it. So, because this minute, there, this is already a three minute long video, I'm just going to kind of show you kind of my body, but I will say, just before I show you guys, um, since I've been with Josh these last six months, I have lost 18 pounds. I'm like 120 something, 130, around 130. So I'm feeling a lot better, but it's not, I'm not content. So um, this is what I look like. And I know people are probably going to comment and be like, you're not fat and all this and that. But you know what? When it's not how you want to be, you feel depressed about it. So yeah, so that's like... I would say my midsection, you know, I feel like I still have the little, the little chubs, you know what I'm saying? And then when you sit down, everything just like rolls and bunches up. Um, so it's a lot better than it was. Um, like my arms were all chunky. They're not really chunky. My arms went down a lot, but I feel like I have big arms. That's just me, though. I don't know. Everything jiggles. I just don't want it to jiggle. It's not necessarily about weight loss. Like, I know I might get hate comments and people being like, you are not fat, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I don't think I'm fat. I just want to be healthy and I want to, I don't know, I want it to be tight. I don't want it to jiggle around when I walk, if you know what I mean. And I want to sit down without having a giant muffin top. And I don't think that's too much to ask. And I think that on the thing of weight loss, yes, I'm not, you know, I'm not obese or anything. And 
you know, people might take it the wrong way, me being like, oh, you know, I want to lose weight, and it's, you know, it's not about that. It's just feeling comfortable in my skin and being happy with what I see in the mirror. And I'm working a lot on my confidence because I've had really bad confidence for a long time, and I'm slowly learning to love myself. It's just when you, I don't know, when you want to see one thing in the mirror and you don't see it, it's just really hard to get over it, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't know, but yes. So that's kind of what it looks like, my belly, which is the part where I need to lose the most weight, is my belly and my legs. But I have lost a lot of weight, I mean, you probably can't tell, but like, I've lost like that much in my pants. Not very much, but you know, it's it's a little, it's better than nothing. So um, my pants are all getting baggy in the butt. Um, I went down a cup size, so now I'm not a double D now, I'm a D. So obviously I've lost a little bit of weight. But basically the things that I have done to just kind of start, kick off this and lose this 20 pounds, honestly, I did not think I lost that much weight. Like I was shocked when I weighed myself. I was like, this scale is wrong. You're kidding, right? Like, and Josh was like, no, and we checked it and it was zeroed and everything. And I was like, wow, holy crap. Like I never expected this to happen. But for example, I will show you the plates that I used to eat on and you'll see why I made the change. Because the plates, like my dinner plates, look like this. Okay? So that's a dinner plate, right? And I switched my dinner plate now to this big so that when I'm eating, instead of taking, having this big plate and it makes your portions look smaller by having such a big plate, if you eat off of a small plate, you'll take less portions. And also, just reminding yourself that if you're going to go back for seconds, only take the vegetables. That's another thing that I've been um, trying to remember to, you know, remind myself as well, other than just using a smaller plate, because honestly, it makes a bigger difference than you think. Um, I have, um, like I said, only if I'm going to take seconds, I don't take any of the carbs or whatever. I go for salads or vegetables. Um, drinking as much water as I can. I try to get like, I probably get between like three, I would say three and four water bottles a day. Um, it's supposed to be more than that, but I'm not a huge water fan, but I, you know, I'm working on it. Um, I'll show you guys my fridge quickly because I just want to kind of show you guys, like, I guess it's, it's really stocked right now, but, um, we always have lots of fruit, like always. Um, we got oranges and kiwis and strawberries and apples. I love fruit. Um, what else? Uh, lots of yogurts, um, ground turkey, so you're going to be making turkey burgers because they're healthy. Um, some more citrus, limes and stuff. Avocados, carrots, celery, lettuce, cauliflower, broccoli, coleslaw, cabbage lettuce, um, peppers and fruits and mushrooms and blackberries and papayas and mangoes. Um, oh, we always have lots of eggs, cheeses, and like sandwich meats. Um, what else do we have? We drink mostly juices and milk and water. Um, as far as freezer goes, it's, I guess, your base, basic freezer. Um, you know, frozen butters and stuff like that. We just got, like, we got a few snacky things that probably aren't the best for you, like the tater tots and the french fries, but that's more like quick meals for Daniel. Um, you know, we buy our meat in bulk and then we portion everything and we freeze it. Um, pierogies are a weakness of mine, so I like to have pierogies. Um, I have falafels and samosas, which really aren't that good for you because they're packet pre-packaged, but, um, fruit for making smoothies, um, lots of frozen vegetables up there because I really, really like vegetables and we make a ton of salads and we just, I don't know, we just eat, we eat, I would say we eat 80% vegetarian as well. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, the only meat I will really eat, honestly, um, because I was vegetarian most of my life, I only really started eating meat about a year, about a year ago, year or two ago, around there. Um, I will only eat chicken breast without the skin and no bone. Um, what are you doing? Turkey breast, no skin, no bone, um, or ground turkey or ground chicken. Um, what else? Oh, pork tenderloin and bacon because I love bacon. But that is like the only meat. I don't eat ribs. I don't eat steak. I don't eat ground beef. I don't. Um, so we eat like, like I said, 90, 80 to 90% vegetarian. Um, 
and I'm a carb freak, so just trying to remind myself, you know, um, not to choose carbs, and if I do choose carbs, I try to find, like, three little vegetable dishes, or, you know, just so I can, like, have one thing of carbs and have three servings of vegetables. So I'm just trying, I'm not always really, con like, I'm not beating myself up about it if I don't eat that way, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't want to make myself feel worse, you know? I'm trying to make myself feel better about myself, so I'm being positive, and if I don't do it, oh well, you know? But I do try. So yeah, so that is basically, I guess, what I'm going to start with for my weight loss video. Um, as far as exercise goes, the only forms of exercises I do is I'll take the baby and Lily, or not the baby, just sometimes just Lily, for a walk to the field out there. So I go on about, I don't know, I would say, depending on the weather, one to three walks a week. You know, just like a half an hour, 45 minute walk. Um, skiing with Josh and his family if, if I get time off to go, and I've only done it like tw twice or three times. Um, and they have a home gym, so if I get the option to work out at his home gym, I will. So it's not like, like, I am not, I don't have an exercise routine. I'm not waking up and doing exercises every day, which I know I should, because there's tons of exercises you can do at home. Um, oh, I've actually discovered my own little baby exercises here. I'll show you guys what I do. It's, it's kind of as a joke, but at the same time, it's kind of true. And you, just, you need a baby. <laughs> this is Daniel. And there's, like baby bicep curls, right? Right? And then there's like baby bench pressing where you have him up like this and you're bench pressing baby. Because he's like 25 pounds, like, like almost 30 pounds. So, I mean, to me I think that's doing something. So, that's just kind of, it's kind of a joke, but it's kind of serious at the same time. So that's my video. <laughs> And I'm just going to end this fitness one on that because it's nice and long. Um, sorry that it was that long. Uh, I'll update you guys on it. But also, if I do end up, you know, working out more, coming up with a routine. Did you poop? Gross. Freshy pants. Freshy pants. You stink. Ew. Ew. Okay, I got to go change a butt now. But, yeah, so that's my video. Hope you guys like it. Um, it would be really cool if you guys could give me, like... Like, is there ways that you guys have found really easy to lose weight or, like, little tips or little tricks? It would be really, really awesome. Um, yeah, so comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.